Well, indeed we do. It doesn't get much better than seeing the old boy back in his area again. Like I say, it's been such a long time, and he still looks really good. His shoulder area still got lots of muscles in it. He's not actually too bad. It's just his face and his ears that have lightened up a little bit, and you can see lots of sort of cuts and nicks in those ears that show a life of hardships as a male leopard. So he's looking okay, but he's definitely aged somewhat since I last saw him. Like I said, the last time I saw him must have been sure, around September time, and he's walked down the road as we've been going now, and it's just stopped to watch something. Now, with that tummy the way that it is at the moment, he'll be probably quite hungry, so there'll be quite a few things that will be catching his eye, and there's also a very strong wind that is blowing across our left shoulders here, so into his face, that maybe he's carrying some sort of scent, and that's why he's just stopping to see what's going on. Here we go and carry on. Now, it's going to be interesting to watch him on this walk down the road. So far, no sign of scent marking. So as he's become a nomadic male now, he's no longer going to be marking because he doesn't want to attract too much attention to himself. He knows that he's in areas of other leopards. And so I wonder if he might try mark. I don't think he will, but you never know with these males. Now, like I say, we're going to follow in behind one of the other vehicles because it's their turn up front. We just got a nice gap where he stopped on the edge of a road and we were able to um, get a nice visual of him. So luckily for us, but it's the nice thing about this is that we don't spend too long in front. Everybody gets a nice chance. Morning everyone, how are you doing? So just doing our morning hellos to everyone. It's a uh, part and parcel of being out here is having the commercial guys around and like I say we're so lucky that we have Taxon and Aubrey that work for Juma around us. They really are very accommodating to our needs and how we do things so it's always good to be with them. So we're just going to let some of the guests get a couple photos before we come across. Thanks Aubrey. But you can see like I was saying to you that there's no scent marking whatsoever. Now, if this was Tingana or an Anderson, you would find that he would be marking quite a lot. So he would be going along and... So he's still having a drink and like I was saying just now that he's very tolerant of different types of water. Now we did have rain last week but this water is fairly stagnant. It's not moving in any way and has been probably wallowed in by a number of animals judging by the mud that's around it and all over the road. You'd find things like buffalo and rhinos and elephants will mud wallow. So the water itself is not going to be the cleanest but cats are fairly tolerant of it. They're able to drink even dirty water and he's obviously a thirsty boy because he's been drinking non-stop since we unfortunately had that little technical glitch and is continuing to do it and he's lapping it up quite quickly as well but it's immediately noticeable how much lighter he is than Tingana so Carl you want to know how old Mvula is well Obviously we're not 100% sure because he's a, a male that distributed from the south of the reserve. But as far as I know, he should now be around 12 years old, somewhere there. Um, I'm sure there are some viewers out there that will know exactly when he was born. But I know he was born to a female in the south um, called Outcrop Female. But I can't remember exactly the date that they were or the year that they were born. But I think he's about 12 years old. I'll have to check when I get back home. Like I say, it's been so long since I've seen him, I've actually forgotten when he was born. But I think it was somewhere around 2005, if I remember correctly. Which, for a male leopard, is old. They're generally, male leopards will only live to about 12, 14 years, so he's already past the average age. And, like I say, still looks in good condition. He's still got a healthy muscular structure around his 
shoulders and neck area and when male leopards get really old and they start to battle you'll find that they get really skinny in that area and then also around the hip but he has the most incredible eyes so when he looked over at us just now he has these very light colored eyes which are absolutely beautiful and it's why he was called Mvula in this area is because his eyes are that color of water and Mvula means rain and so that's why he was named that but it is really really one of his attributes is those eyes they are piercing but beautiful at the same time but you can see look at how many ticks on his ears and that's why his ears look that way of the all the years of ticks crawling up and latching on and him trying to pull them off little bits have been taken away and the ears have become far more tatty as he's gone on and you can see them all over the back of the head so he's been a bit naughty he hasn't groomed himself very well it's difficult to get behind your ears but they use their paws generally a lot of the time to to clean there I had a sighting of Tingana the other day and between his shoulder blades he had a patch of ticks it looked like he was almost farming them all right but he's going to carry on Dominic it's an interesting question. Leopards do lose some agility when they get a little bit older. So when they are still younger, they will be quicker and a little bit more agile in terms of being able to catch prey. But And then as they get older, it's much like people. We start to, our muscles start to break down, our ligaments and tendons start to calcify a little bit, and it becomes hard to be able to move around the food that we're looking for so yes he will probably lose a bit of his speed and will unfortunately get a little bit slower as he gets older and that's going to mean that in the end he's going to probably have a tough time of it when he gets to the last few months because he's not going to be able to hunt effectively and so you're going to end up in a situation where the weaker he gets from starving the more um, difficult it becomes for him and the less food he gets and then eventually he then passes away. So Karen, there we go, confirmed 2005 was when he was born and like I say he was born to the outcrop female right down in the south of the reserve on the Sabi River and he's traveled all the way north through the Sabi Sands to be a dominant male in this northern sector. So. In terms of as the crow flies, I think he's probably traveled easily um, 30 kilometers from the southern sections to be up here to be the dominant male in this area in the prime of his life. Um, and so that's quite a long way. Now he did have a litter mate, he had a brother when, when uh, he was a cub, but no one knows where that brother ended up or what happened. And like I say, because they're born on the Sabi River, um, it's in all likelihood could mean that he ended up going into the Kruger National Park and that's why nobody actually knows who um, or where the brother is at this stage. Thanks. So Marco, you're asking me if I've ever seen Mvula's brother and you're asking his, if his name is Vin Diesel. So this is a big misconception. Vin Diesel does not come from the same litter as Mvula, they are in no way the same or brothers. This animal here, Mvula, comes from outcrop female and Vin Diesel or Mbavala, as we know him in the south of the reserve, came from outcrop sister, Wartog Wallow female. So they are from different females, they are related but indirectly they are not from the same mother and nor are they litter mates. So a little bit different and Mbavala, he is dominant down on the Sabi River around the Paul Kruger Gate, so around Sabi Sabi and Lion Sands, that's where he's dominant. But yes, they are not litter mates at all. Um, Mbavala is a slightly younger male than what Mvula is. As you can see, he's salivating a little bit after drinking. Now often when the leopard salivates, it's the presence of another leopard in the area, which I don't think is the case now, but just interesting to see that he's um, busy salivating at the moment. There we go, cleaned his chin, good boy.
Now, it seems that everybody's left us alone for a little bit, which means we can just hug this male to ourselves and follow in behind him, which will be really, really nice. So, this particular male, I wonder where he's going to go, because he is walking now straight towards Buyatella, 